So in the previous video, I talked about how if you do get a clog in this printer, you can easily take it apart. It's just a couple of little Allen wrenches, pop some springs off, you can get the clog out. That's how to remove it. But if you're constantly getting clogs in this printer, um, I'm gonna show you now how the, the first way to fix it, and that is putting on a bigger fan. This comes with a small 30 millimeter fan that fits on this shroud. It blows air on the heat sink and down on the part. And the first thing you can do is to put on a bigger fan. And I happen to have a 50 millimeter fan. I don't know where I got this, whether I, I took apart something, an old computer or uh, an old printer or something, um, but I happen to have a 50 millimeter fan. And there's a lot of different um, shrouds or couplings you can print off that'll go from the 30 millimeter to whatever, 40, 50, 60, um, 80, 90, 120. You can find them online. Um, I'll put up the link for uh, two that I know where it's a zip file and there's all these different conversions one to another. So I, the first one I did is I printed off a 30 to a 50. Um, really quickly, if you don't have a fan, um, common sizes for a computer case are 60 or 80 and on slick deals there's always a deal where you can go on there you buy a fan and there's a mail-in rebate you end up getting it free so if, if you go on slick deals and just look up you know free compu uh, computer case fan or something you can go to a 60 millimeter fan or an 80 um, and that'll be sitting on front here um, you're gonna have to cut the the little coupling there's a white um, snap and adapter you're gonna have to cut it because you just want the red and the black wires but um, we'll get into that later so the first thing I did I went on and I printed off um, their coupling a 30 to a 50 and I put it on here and I saw that it would be run into a little bit of a problem and that is when this X uh, when this moves to the X axis before it hits the switch it's gonna hit the case because it's too wide and too short um, so the next thing I did was print off a 30 millimeter extender and this will move that uh, coupling, that flange further away so that hopefully before it gets wide it will clear this white uh, metal case. So I think that should work. Um, another thing I did, I went to the other um, set of flanges and I saw that their flange was, the next one was a little wider so I didn't need two parts and I started printing it and halfway through the thing clogged up because it was a long print. It was a two hour print or whatever and about an hour in it clogged up. So I'm gonna end up printing this later on but for now I'm gonna use the two part, um, the flange and the little extender. Later on I'll, I'll print off a different one or I'll go in and uh, in a CAD file and I'll extend this or make it longer or make the flange on the thing itself. So if I do that, I'll put up links for the STL file. So if you have the same printer, you can print one that you know fits and is not gonna hit this. Um, once I put it on here, you're gonna have to take off these four screws and you'll use, I'll probably use these screws later on to attach um, the fan to the flange, but then I'm gonna have to get some bolts that are gonna have to go through and attach this extender onto the existing shroud. I'm going to use the existing shroud for now. You, you can print new ones. There is another shroud out there where it has the fan on the top. You can mount a 40 millimeter fan on the top. Again, with my fan that's not going to work because I'm going to hit this. I wanted to originally have the fan kind of at a 45 or a 90 degree angle to get it away from this wall so it wouldn't hit. I didn't see one out there that really worked so just extending it forward um, looks like it's going to work. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take um, the little four screws off this fan. I'll come up here, I'll remove this plastic wrap, cut the wires, solder in these red and black, new red and black wires. I'll heat shrink it, I think, or just wrap it with electrical tape. And uh, like I said, screw it and bolt it back together and hopefully that's done for the first part. Oh, and one other thing I forgot to mention, Adding a bigger fan also has another advantage, and that is it allows you to print faster. When you're blowing more air on your filament as it's coming out, which is why you'll see some people have two fans, that's rapidly cooling down that filament. That lets you print faster. It's gonna, it's gonna solidify right on there rather than be a little wet and droopy. And if you have some overhangs, you'll be able to bridge some things because that filament will harden up immediately rather than droop down or get a little saggy. So adding a bigger fan will hopefully allow me to crank up the speed rather than you know 40 millimeters a second or whatever. Maybe I'll go up to 50, 60, 70, knowing that it's gonna 
immediately harden up with some more air blowing on the part. So that's another advantage, not why I'm doing it, um, but it's another advantage to adding a bigger fan. So let me quickly show you what I've done so far. <clears throat> First, I removed, I cut off this little uh, zip tie, which is holding that on there. I cut that off and moved it out of the way. Then I came up, removed this plastic all the way up to about here and cut the wire. And then I unscrewed it with these screws from the shroud. And you can see the difference in the two fans. So hopefully this is gonna provide a lot more. Um, next, I'm gonna take some wire strippers, strip these wires back, solder um, the red and black onto there. I've already tested this with a nine volt battery, so I know it's just the red and black wires. Um, you could probably cut this yellow wire or just wind it up or do whatever, get rid of it. Um, then I'll take these, uh, take these two parts, screw them on, like I said, with the, the screws that I have on here, and then I'll have to use two more nuts to nuts and bolts to screw that on. Um, twist the wire back up, zip tie it in place, should be good to go. Okay, I have them all soldered up, and another thing I forgot to mention is I put the heat shrink tubing on it beforehand. I usually forget, um, but you got to put the heat shrink tubing on before you solder it, and then you slide it up, shrink it down. Okay, an update of how things are going. I attached the shroud and uh, adapter. It did require a little bit of uh, I had to attach two of the holes, and then I had to use a small drill bit to kind of bore out the other two to get those screws to finally fit. But those were the screws that originally came um, with it. Next, I have my soldering iron out, and I'm going to solder these two wires here on the top. And then I will attach the fan to the shroud. And here's what it looks like now, all finished. With the extender on there, I re-zip tied the wires here. You can't even tell up on the wires. This cable's a little long, um, but I might tape it or somehow get it out of the way. And I didn't end up having to put a nut on the back of these. I, they uh, tapped right into um, the PLA part. So I just screwed it right in. It didn't crack or anything. So that is the 50 millimeter fan fitted onto the monoprice printer. And we'll print some stuff off and see how it works. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.